I've been playing around with Redbubble to just to see what it's like uh, using that. And um, so uh, it starts with some design that you're you think is ready to go. And uh, so I've been gathering my designs in a folder. So I know where the folder is. So I know where the designs are. And these these ones have all been um, uh, upscaled to 300 DPI and something like 15 inches wide which is recommended for t-shirts and um, and then a lot of them have been extracted so that the image is clearly contrasting against a transparent background so for this video I'm just gonna choose this one which I spent a lot of time working on. I had to get the last little contaminations out of out of uh, all the little areas around it. it. Takes a while in Photoshop. But I think it's it's ready to go. So <clears throat> that's the one I'm going to use today. And then I'm going to start a browser. I use Chrome. And I'm going to go to redbubble.com. And I already signed in here. So I have a an account. And when I, I click my little account picture, I can go to um, various things. So right now I'm going to go sell your art. And you have to uh, add at least five designs to get your shop ready for customers. And I think I've um, I think I've done that. The next step is to add a profile picture, a cover image, social links, and a bio, and then finally. Uh, putting in some information probably will include bank account social security number or maybe PayPal but uh, for right now we're gonna add a design and it verifies I'm real so then it says upload a new work okay and that would be in that folder I was telling you about. I want to make sure I get the right one. So I'm going to take the ping. I also have a JPEG, which is a smaller uh, size that I use for, for something else. But uh, for right now, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pick this, uh, this one that I think is ready and I open it. And it takes a little while. And then once you open it, it shows you what it looks like on all these different products. So you go through and that one looks okay. That one looks okay. This one, it's a little bit too big. So I could edit that and scale it down a little bit. Center it vertically center it vertically so that looks okay chiffon tops I, I don't even know what chiffon tops are but <clears throat> I've disabled a bunch of these when you first do that everything is enabled so you have to kind of pick and choose what which ones you want to try for 
Um, and then the chiffon top, I, I don't even know what that what that means, but I'll edit it and uh, scale it down so it looks like it's fitting. Center vertically. Okay. Oh, I forgot to apply changes on that last one too. Oh, well, it looks okay on the hat. Huh. All right, I don't know. Seems to apply changes. Um, stickers and magnets. I guess it's okay. Phone cases. I'm I'm gonna disable that. Um, desk mats, mouse pads. Meh, what the heck? Um, you kind of have to look at the uh, here and there to see. That looks okay. Uh, totes, yeah. I kind of want totes. Um, pillows and totes. I don't know. That's maybe a little bit smaller. Um, prints, cards, and posters. Um, no, uh, I don't know. You, you can decide on ones, you know. There's so many. Pouches, laptop skins, I don't care. Du duvet, comforter, shower curtains. I'm going to disable... Dog mats disabled, cat mats, pet blankets disabled. <coughs> Excuse me. Mugs, I like mugs. I'm gonna edit the mugs. Center vertically, up a little. Center vertically, I don't know, it seems okay. I'll apply it for mugs. Uh, mugs up here. Pet bandanas is disabled. Scarves I've disabled. Spiral notebooks. <clears throat> yeah. Why not? Center horizontal. Center vertical. Center horizontal. Apply. Uh, drawstring bags, tablet cases, I'm going to disable, I'm just disabling ones that just quickly I don't think an Osprey is going to be marketable, I may be wrong, drawstring bags, well yeah I like drawstring bags so bring this guy down a little, center him. Okay, uh, spiral notebooks, artboard prints, <laughs> clocks, no, hardcover journals, I don't know, no, artboard prints, I don't even know what that is, now let's edit it and see what it looks like here, uh, make it a little smaller, center it vertically, apply, it kind of jumps. You have to scroll back up a little. Acrylic blocks and coasters. I'm just getting tired of, of doing so many right now. Oh, tote, cotton tote bags. I definitely want cotton tote bags. Wood and canvas prints. Uh, I... <laughs> All right, why not? Um... Set the background. Oh, set the background. You could even. I haven't seen that before. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Um, well, that makes it more complicated. Uh, I don't know. You'd have to pick a background. 
where were we? Oh, cotton totes. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to scale down the cotton totes. Center, center. Maybe a little bigger. Center, center. Apply changes. And again, you have to kind of scroll back up to get to where you were. Pin buttons, sure. Pin buttons. Um, this is one where it looks okay over here, but on the button itself, it up there, it doesn't look right. Uh, center it, center it. Um, mm hmm. No, I'd like to move it over this way, but. Again, apply changes, then you have to go back up. Masks, no. Aprons, no. Uh, jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> you know, some some of the ones that aren't extracted would be good for some of these guys. Sleeveless tops, why not? Let's see if we can fit one on a sleeveless top. Um, oh, enabled. All right. Phone wallets. Uh, I'm going to disable that. Mini skirts. Uh, duffel bags. Duffel bags, maybe I should do. I don't know. Fitted masks. No. Um, I haven't, I'm going to add photography and digital art so I can uh, try to sell my bird photos on here or in my AI generated bird photos. And then um, anybody can see it. Optimize means Redbubble will show a mix of products in, in my shop. Uh, um, otherwise, I guess you have to pick specific things. I don't know. I'll just leave it optimized. Is this mature content? No. I agree. Save work. Oh, okay, so now, um, before we started doing that, um, we could have done this first. <clears throat> now, it, it, you have to put in a title, and uh, you can put in up to 15 tags. Tags are what people search for, so um, the more the better, and things that describe this thing and then you need a description now I have a I have trouble coming up with just about anything <clears throat> so what I do is I upload the image uh, and that's why I had a uh, a smaller JPEG so I could upload it to the chat bots and ask them to create title tags and description for me and um, when I do that I also upload the um, instructions for creating tags from Redbubble so I save the instructions in a PDF file so I can upload the instructions for creating tag, tags and the image, and then the chatbots will um, will create all this according to the instructions. And then uh, what happens is I I save that in a text file. 
so I've I I did this for my bear and Michelle's groovy free bird and so on my camping one and then um, this is the one for this osprey picture so I'm gonna for the title majestic hunter Osprey's catch copy paste and then for the tags uh, the tags uh, are here Control C to copy. Control V to paste. And then the description. I come back to this text editor. And the description is here. So I copy that. And paste it here. So I've got a title, some tags and a description. Now you can just make up your own um, or if you want to see how I do do it with chatbots I'd be glad to show you. So now that we've got that all filled in oh, I got a background color over here. Huh. Now we can go back and save this work it takes a sec now here's all the products in my in my shop Magnets, mouse pads, dad's hats, classic t shirts, t shirts, hats, all this is ready. If if my store was live, pe people could start buying any and all of this stuff. Share your work. Okay, let's see. Um, I could go back and edit this if I wanted to. We can view it. I think this is what it would look like. Uh, so that's, you know, pretty easy way to get get a design on a bunch of different products for sale. And um And hopefully there'd be enough tags in there so if somebody was searching for anything like this it would uh, it would pop up for them so let's see um all right so um come back to sell your art again and we're back to this dashboard where I could add designs more designs so I've got enough designs I've got more than five so I need to take the next step um, 
one thing I need a cover image and uh, the cover image needs to be 2400 by 600 <clears throat> so I, I need to create a <coughs> an eye-catching cover image enter in my profile um, when you publish something it automatically is copyrighted but it's not really protected that much I'd like to advertise my products image settings so that's what I need to work on now <coughs> to continue oh payment details I need to put in my address I need to get paid in US dollars and my phone number I agree this kind of stuff edit the profile change the password I think I put in I think I put in a password not not Google but a separate uh, a separate password that I control outside of Google passwords all right well I guess that's what I wanted to show you guys